Hello everybody, this is Joel. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Retina Engrave 3D. So the first thing you're going to do is open the program. It's going to look like this. Okay, and what we're going to be cutting out today is the fretboard for the guitar. So once you have the program to open, this is assuming you have your fretboard already drawn in some sort of a program such as Solid Edge or Mastercam depending on what you want to use. As long as the program can print and you can draw something to scale, you can you can cut it out on the laser engraver. So we're going to open up Solid Edge with our fretboard. As you can see, I've drawn it to scale. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you've drawn it on something like a C sheet. Something that, that's big enough for the fretboard to fit on. And remember this. Uh, the size of the sheet because you're going to need to to know that when you're setting up your printer so you click OK next thing you're going to do is zoom in to the fretboard slot only the fretboard is showing in in the on the screen like so zoom in that's about as good as we're going to get after that you can go f hit the file button go to over to print set your laser set your printer to the full spectrum laser so full spectrum engineering driver click that make sure you're printing only from the current display after that go over to properties and then you can check the layout if you wanted to print landscape that's the orientation we have the fretboard in go over to advanced make sure your paper size is as we stated before a C sheet okay that's gonna make sure we're going in as scale one-to-one -one scale so you click OK click OK again and then you can click OK here to print it and it's gonna bring it over to the retina engrave once all of the dialogues come through you can view your image here but well, we're gonna be cutting it out as a vector so you can see here that it came in with all my drawings. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it's set to the proper scaling. Just to double check, that's by clicking this button over here. So you can see that it's 14.375 by 2.25, that's exactly what we want. The laser should then be turned on. Now take a look at the little screen. The laser should be booting up and an IP address should show. As the laser is booting, scan the network to connect the laser to the computer. Now the laser can be homed. This can be done with the home key on the little screen or the home key on the computer. Now your part can be loaded into the machine. Open the lid, place the material on the bed, keeping it straight. Close the lid and use the arrow keys to jog the laser to the top right hand corner position of your material. You can also use the jog keys on the computer as well as the slow jog for finer adjustments. The laser should be positioned directly on the edge of your material. Now use the arrow keys to move the laser to the opposing end of your material. This is done to see if the material is parallel to the laser's travel. If your material is not parallel, place one finger on the right side and move the left side till the laser is on the edge of the material. Now jog your laser across the material once again to check if it is parallel. Repeat this step until your material is parallel. Choose the top left as your origin, then using the arrow keys, jog the cutter to that position. Now you're ready to run a job perimeter. If the laser's perimeter leaves the material, use the arrow keys to jog it in the proper orientation. Remember to take advantage of the fine adjustments on the computer to place the laser precisely where it needs to be. For your perimeter on the fretboard, the laser should be just touching the edge of your material. We also have to set the speed of the laser and the power. We're going to set those both to 100. This is so that the laser cuts at the proper depth on our material of choice, which is maple. 
Now we're ready to hit play and watch it cut. I'm Joel, I hope this tutorial was helpful. This was how to cut a fretboard on the laser engraver. Have a good day.